Hello everyone. Today we're going to have a quick look at the AD Instruments Power Lab system. So this is a multifunctional physiology unit that will allow you to do several physiology practicals throughout the course of your degree. As you can see, the entire system comes in a suitcase. When you open the suitcase, you'll see the actual power lab, computer system, along with a compartment that contains power cables and a USB cable system to connect the power lab to the laptop. Next to that, in the top hand of the case, there are many different plugs and inputs that you can use for the different practicals that we will be doing. There's also a sheet which actually gives you an indication which um, parameters are in here or which straps and leads so you know which one to pick for each different practical. For most practicals we will already have put up this system for you but sometimes you might have to take it out of the case yourself and select the correct leads. Whenever you need to do this, please be careful, this is a very expensive system and we don't want you to break it. So when we have a look at the actual power lab system, you'll see this is the front with on this side the power sign, the power switch and the power status indicator light. And then you'll have a series of inputs where you can actually plug in all the different leads you might use. As a rule, it will always be clearly indicated which input needs to go where, but overall you will always use input number one or the big black plug for any ECG leads. They will go in quite tight, so you have to apply some pressure, but every if you feel like it's not going in properly, don't push too hard because otherwise you might break it. And just call one of the practical demonstrators. So this is the box at the front. When we have a look at the back, on this side we see the input for the power cable alongside with the on off switch, some other ports if you want to connect it to a printer, but you won't have to do that, and then on the other side a plug to connect the USB to the computer. So when we start connecting that, get the USB, plug that in into the computer, The power cable, same thing, we plug that in at the back. Now once you've plugged this in, remember to switch on the machine. When you then turn it round, you will see the blue power light and either a orange or a green light. When the status light flashes orange, then there's something wrong you might need to reconnect your leads. In this case it's green so we know it's good to go. For this short practical we will just be doing a pulse pressure measurement, so measuring the blood pressure in my finger which we know is at the top here. When we look at this we see all the leads are nicely rolled up which means that the person who used it before you put everything away neatly. Same thing, when you're ready with the practical, please roll up all the leads and put it away in the appropriate slot in the case. So that's what we're going to use in a minute. As we're not using anything else in the suitcase, we're just going to put that away for now. With this lead, we're going to unwrap it. It has a long cable which will take out all the links and then we'll put this in this case I know it goes into plug number two plug 
plugging it in, at the top you can see, in this case, the AD Instruments logo at the top. What we'll do then, then we'll go to the laptop and log in, and each laptop will have an icon that says student login with the lab tutor icon. You'll click on that and you'll come to the lab tutor login screen. I'm just going to log in now. Quickly, um, in the next video that we'll post, we'll actually go into the lab tutor software in more detail. So please have a look at that as well before the practical. For now, I'm just quickly going to log in. Select the practical that we need. So, in this screen, you can already see some data from the previous session that we did. At the moment, we will only be interested in the lower graph that says pulse. We're then going to go attach the pulse pressure probe to my finger. So it has a side with Velcro and a flat side, and this is the actual measuring side. I'm going to put that on my index finger, wrap the Velcro around so it's nice and tight, but not so tight that we're actually occluding my finger so there's no more blood going through it. And what we'll do now is we're going to measure blood flow and the systolic blood pressure through my finger. So we're going to hit start on the lab tutor software. And as you can see in the bottom, the pulse graph shows you a nice graph of my pulse pressure. When we want, we can speed it up or slow it down. At the bottom, or actually zoom in or zoom out. But whenever you're you collecting data and want to review it, this button down here, the auto scale, is most useful because that'll automatically scale it to the right scale you will need to use. So we've now collected enough data so we can press stop and we can then move on to start analyzing this data but on how you can do that we will show you in the lab tutor software video so this was a very quick run through of the power lab system that you will be using for some of your practicals i hope you found this useful Please also have a look at the other instruction videos we will post and if you have any further questions please get in touch with your module coordinator or some of the practical staff. Thank you.